Hi guys, how you guys doing? Today's day 10 of Things November. Um <laughs> uh, so today I um basically had an appointment and um I had to go to the doctor and I had to go to the doctor tomorrow. But today was one of those days that I didn't feel well and I didn't sleep well last night and also um like, I did what I had to do, like, clean, look after my children, cook dinner, clean after dinner. You know, the, the regular shebang of being a mom. But uh, on my downtown, downtime, meaning while I was multitasking, cleaning and um, organizing, putting away food, I was basically watching a movie on Netflix as as I was working around the kitchen. You know, just, just something just to... I don't know, not to get too, I don't know, focus on me cleaning so I don't clean, <laughs> but something just to like distract me so while I'm cleaning, I don't see how much work I have to do and get discouraged, which wasn't a lot, because I just did like um, something very simple, simple, I, I cooked an uh, Italian dish tonight, so it wasn't too <clears throat> messy for me, but I went grocery shopping, so I had to organize and do all of that stuff, so yeah, I understand. <clears throat> But the movie I was watching is basically uh, a woman that went through uh, a sexual harassment experience and she was trying to speak up. And from what the movie portrayed, at first people wasn't believing her, what she was saying. And then her, one of her close friends was basically saying that she was the one that was approaching the guy that sexually harassed her and the guy that sexually harassed her, she was the one that was very hot basically and at the end of the, the movie you realize that that girl was just I don't know what was wrong with her friend well her ex-friend but the girl really did get sexually harassed and there were so many girls that went through the same situation but worse some of them committed suicide dear Lord Jesus and um you know they were they were with child <sighs> But the reason why I mention that is because I'm appreciative and grateful for the women that are advocates, that are speaking up for a woman that cannot speak up or tried to speak up and was dismissed and never tried to speak up again. Um, I'm grateful for those women. I'm grateful for those people that has organizations to help women that are in that type of situation or still are in that situation. That are advocate and know how to detect when someone's going through that. And or the mouth, the eyes, the body of that woman that can't speak up. Either they are afraid, either they went through so much and they don't want to go through something else again, or either they're deceased. And I'm grateful for those women. I'm grateful for those people that are speaking up for women, even men. Now, a lot of people don't know that men go through the same thing. And the difference is, is that men, you know, naturally they're strong. They're, they're, for some reason in society, we don't allow men to cry, which they need to, they're human. They need to cry. They feel emotion. And from that mindset, men don't feel like if something like that happens to them, they should speak about it. It seems like they're weak and they're not weak. So a lot of men go through the same thing sometimes. So I'm sh putting this out there for all the advocates, all the mouth, all the eyes, all the ears, all the body, all the all the organization that stands up for women's rights and stands up for men's rights that goes through harassment, molestation, 
all the terrible things that I can't even get the courage to repeat right now. But I am so grateful for you guys. And God can God continue blessing you guys. God continue giving you courage. God continue to strengthen your mind, your spirit, your body, your heart. And God continue to provide supplies and connections and other organizations to come together and continue this fight and help the people that are afflicted and help the children that are tainted so this cycle stops this cycle stops so this day 10 of gratitude and appreciation goes to all the advocates that are standing for women that are standing for men speaking up for them because they can't I love you guys. Have a blessed night. And, um, bye.